The sun is the reason we exist. It's why all life on Earth is possible. It is the only provider of all energy ever needed for life to exist on Earth. The temperature of the surface of the sun is 5,772 Kelvin and of its outer atmosphere or corona is 5 million Kelvin. How the temperature of the sun's outermost layer is so high is a million dollar question in astrophysics which scientists have been trying to solve for years. But do you know that this life-giving star of ours can also turn violent sometimes? Did you know that our sun has the power to knock satellites out of orbit and mess up with the electronics on board them? Not just that, the sun can also disrupt radio communications on Earth and harm astronauts in orbit around Earth by sometimes creating intense radiation. Today let's explore what gives rise to this destructive side of the sun which we'll soon be able to witness in 2024. The level of activity on the sun follows an 11-year cycle. The cycle starts with a solar minimum, then the activity on the sun peaks in the middle of the cycle, and then the activity again ebbs towards the end of the 11-year period, and the cycle repeats itself. This 11-year solar cycle is also called the sunspot cycle, as the number of sunspots on the sun surface and their strength are an indicator of how active the sun is. The more sunspots there are, the more active the sun is. Sunspots are temporary spots on the sun surface which appear darker being at a lower temperature than the surrounding surface of the sun. If the temperature of the sun surface is 5,780 Kelvin, that of sunspots is 3,000 Kelvin. Sunspots are spots of intense magnetic activity. But it's not just increased sunspots which are an indication of high solar activity. Levels of solar radiation increase, and the sun ejects more material during a solar maximum. The number of solar flares increases too. People have known about this solar cycle for centuries by observing the solar surface as well as by the increase or decrease of orbital activity at the poles. But how does this solar cycle affect the Earth? Charged particles released during increased activity in the solar maximum disrupt satellite communications and cause radio blackouts on the ground. At the same time, these charged particles are funneled towards the poles by our Earth's magnetic field, giving rise to the beautiful and fascinating phenomena of auroras at places near to the poles. With so much effect on the technologies without which life is unimaginable on Earth, Predicting the solar cycle is one of the grand challenges in astrophysics. Since the 1700s when people started keeping track of the sun's activity, we're currently in solar cycle 25, which is expected to peak in October 2024. Solar cycle 24 peaked in April 2014 with 114 sunspots, much lesser than the general average of 179 sunspots during the peak, making solar cycle 24 the weakest of the century. But the last time the sun was very active, it left a satellite dead. Yes, this was in solar cycle 23, which peaked in 2003. That's how powerful solar maxima can be. But this solar maximum doesn't look as frail as the last one, as the sun has already begun producing more striking solar flares than in the last solar maximum. While auroras are generally seen near the poles, solar activity has been so strong already going towards the solar maximum that auroras were seen even in as low latitudes as Arizona in 2023. In fact, the solar storms also knocked out 40 small SpaceX satellites in 2023. The level of activity here is the biggest it's been since about 20 years, since about 2003, said Mark Meesh, a member of the solar modeling team at NOAA's Space Weather Prediction Center. So we're in for some exciting times ahead, especially for Aurora chasers, who might be in for a big treat. What's more, the total solar eclipse of April 8, 2024 combined with the solar maximum gives a fantastic opportunity to see the particle streams coming from the sun's outer atmosphere or corona, which will be much more in number given we're going towards the solar maximum. 
It'll be a much, much more elaborate corona that we'll see for the April eclipse, said Mish. Let's know more about the solar eclipse of April 2024. A solar eclipse occurs when the moon comes between the sun and the earth, and a part or whole of the sun is covered by the moon. You might be wondering, the moon is so much smaller than the sun, how can it cover our ginormous sun which is almost 1.4 million kilometers in diameter? But therein lies the wonder of our sun-earth-moon system. So what is so special about the Great American Eclipse of 2024? And from where can you see this celestial marvel? Let's dive right into the intriguing world of solar eclipses. Even though the Sun is 400 times bigger than the Moon, it is also 400 times farther away from us. This means that the apparent size of the Moon as well as the Sun in the sky is the same. Isn't that an amazing as well as a mysterious coincidence? Images of partial solar eclipse make the Sun look like a part of it has been eaten by the Moon. But total solar eclipses are fascinating in themselves. Total solar eclipses occur when the apparent size of the moon is larger than the sun's, so that the moon's disk completely covers the sun, leading to few minutes of night during the day. If there's one time you can see stars during the day, it is during a total solar eclipse. The lunar eclipses can be seen from anywhere on the Earth where it is night, solar eclipses are different. They can be seen only from a small strip on the Earth where the moon's shadow falls. The Great American Eclipse of April 8, 2024 is a total solar eclipse. It will be the only total solar eclipse of the 21st century where the totality will be visible from Mexico, the United States, as well as Canada. This eclipse will have a maximum duration of 4 minutes 28 seconds. The last total solar eclipse visible from most of North America occurred in August 2017. It lasted a total of 2 minutes 40 seconds. So everyone is in for a bigger treat this time around with the total eclipse time being nearly double of the 2017 one. And if you miss this total solar eclipse, you might have to wait for 21 years as the next total solar eclipse crossing most of the United States will occur only in August 2045. Though this solar eclipse will last for four and a half minutes, total solar eclipses in general can last for as much as eight minutes. The longest total solar eclipse to have taken place so far was seven minutes, 28 seconds long and happened in June 743 BC. Scientists also have a database of all future eclipses which are going to occur, and according to their astronomical calculations, the longest total solar eclipse in the future is going to be the one in July of 2186, which is going to be a whopping 7 minutes 29 seconds long, thus beating the one in 743 BC by merely one second. Fun fact, did you know that people who chase eclipses around the globe and study them using astronomical tools are called umbrophiles? The next solar eclipse of 2024 is an annular solar eclipse occurring on 2nd October, where only a sliver of the solar ring will be visible from behind the moon. That one will be visible over South America. But first we'll get to savor the April 8 total solar eclipse. So fasten your seat belts and get ready to experience four and a half minutes of night during the day on April 8 this year. Wishing you clear skies and a happy eclipse viewing. Going back to the solar maximum of October 2024, countries around the world are ready this time around in case of any damage to or destruction of satellites. So will this cause a total communication blackout on planet Earth? And if so, how long will its disastrous effects last? If you found this video intriguing, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to Edge of the Universe. Hit the bell icon to stay updated as we unravel many more mysteries.